Welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about something that I just discovered a couple of weeks ago. Maybe many of you already know about this, but something that I found to be a little bit cool, and that is loading uh, Rex slices into Kong or the Redrum drum computer. And also just bring in your own audio files and exporting those as Rex, uh, Rex loops and then bringing those slices in. So let's just if we go to the factory sounds then and come to the Dr. X drum loops and click on that, let's just go here. Now you know if we double click on this, then we load up a Dr. Octorex and we can run that through. And expanding down at the bottom, we can then see our slices. We even have the option of, say we're on slice one, we can send that out and choose between a few different stereo outs, and there are a few other controls. But if you are working in Kong and you that's where you do most of your work, or if you're working in Redrum and that's where you do most of your drum work, and you still would like to use these uh, Rex loops, you, you do have that option to do. Uh, so let me just bring in a Kong and then if I navigate to our factory sounds go to the same folder that we were just in the Dr. Rex drum loops and the hip-hop. Now we can sample that um, but if we try to load that in, it's just going to replace the Kong with a Dr. Octorex. But if we load the Kong in, and then be sure that you choose the Drum Patch browser, and go to Factory Sounds, Dr. Rex Drum Loops, And you see we've got an arrow here to the side. Okay, that's our loop. You can click that arrow to expand out. Then you have access to all of the slices that are contained within that loop. From which you can choose and load into each cell. So I'll just double click on this first one. And as you can see, uh, 09 Chrome, we've got 09 Chrome here. I'll select the next cell. And we've now got that slice loaded in cell 2. Okay, and this goes for Redrum as well. I'll drag that in. And you want to be sure that you are not browsing the, uh, the kit area. You want to go to a individual drum channel, choose the browse sample, and you know, reason defaults to redrum or these individual uh, drum samples contained within the kits, the redrum kits. But let's just go to back to factory sounds and Dr. Rex drums. Uh, we'll just choose down south for something different. Stop that. And again, just click the down arrow there. And I'll double click that. We've now got that loaded into drum channel one. I'm just going to use my down arrow to go through these. And so I'll just, you can double click, you can load, you can also just drag over to the channel. And now we're good to go. Just something cool, you know, uh, that I wanted to share in case there was other people that have been using Reason and they just weren't aware of that. And the last thing that I want to cover is 
you can, let's come to the F7 and bring up the sequencer. I'll control, tr control T, bring it, uh, bring up an audio track. Then I'm going to navigate to my desktop. I've already prepared a little, one of my old songs, and I'll bring that into the sequencer. And this is just, I'll stop the auto playback there. This is just one of my old tracks. So you can bring in any audio file that you'd like, but what I want to show you is that you can then, I'll hit R for my razor tool, I'll create a slice there, a slice here, and Q for my selection tool. Just get rid of that first part, and we don't need the end either. And let's double click on this and open up the inline editor. We can then right click on this audio clip and go to bounce bounce clip to rex loop and what reason will do is then create a rex loop in your self-contained samples folder for the song you're currently working on and so what we can do is F6 and come back up to the uh, rack and then again being sure that you choose the drum sample browser let's come back to our song samples and again, we noted that it was in the all self-contained samples. Double click. This is our audio track that we brought in and bounced down to a Rex file. So if I click that down arrow, and I'm going to use my down arrow to um, go through these. Okay, for some reason... For some reason, it's not auto playing. But you get the idea here. And of course, if you're going to do something like that, you really want to spend more time working on your slice markers and cleaning that up a bit. I'm just trying to briefly show you that this is available to you. So I'll double click. Oh, I replaced that kick. Okay, and then I'll select cell two. I'll load that in there. See, now we've got a couple of samples from an audio file that we brought into Reason and then bounced down to a Rex file. And you can do this with any audio file that you bring in. And just remember that if I F7 and come back to the sequencer, you really will want to um, work with some of these slice markers most of the time. Because you may not need to have so many, okay? And they're easy to get rid of. You just select it and hit delete. Uh, and of course you can adjust and if you hold down control you can freely move your markers and so yeah that's it hope that this has been useful and I'll see you in the next video